word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we discuss interesting articles weekly. I'm here with Maxi. Hello. Alexander. What's up? CJ. Hello. Emma. Hola. And myself, Devin. Hello. Hi. Um, full house. We are a full house. <laughs> oh, full I house. Like full this. house. Unbelievable. This has oh my been goodness. a couple of months in the in the in the making. Am no more getting spoke? washed <laughs> up with all these complaint emails and posts about where, where? is everybody? Why yes. aren't you together anymore? Yes. Finally. And those rumors, we've squashed those rumors, haven't we, Maxi? We've squashed it. What rumors? There was no riff. There no was no in, in-house in malarkey. <laughs> it was just people... Me and Alex are the same person. Punch, we are right? in the same room. It, it was just a <laughs> one-time <laughs> thing. <laughs> But my luck, it happened while I was away. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. That's what I'm saying. Nothing happened. Nothing, nothing. Was that my lucky while I wasn't here? <laughs> Yikes. Emma. Yes. What is our first article? Okay. First article is... They reckon that football players that head of the ball a lot are more... Prone to dying from. This is really sad for a first article. Hang on, now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> they're more prone to brain disease, degenerative brain disease. And there was a study done on it. So you know, like with the boxers and the American football players, mm-hmm. concussions. Um, what is it called? Uh, CTE. CTE. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy. I don't know how you say that word. Yeah, I um, you it. Did I? So there's a new study basically revealed that footballers are more likely to die of this disease. Um, there was this guy, Jeff Astley. The name Astley just reminds Rick me of that Astley? singer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Isn't Rick, that that singer guy? Rick, Rick Astley. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a Rick roll? Never gonna give you... Uh, that's a song. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Jeff Astley was a former England player from the 70s. He died at 59 from a dementia-type brain disease. And then in 2014, they actually um, did a experiment or analysed his brain and then found that he suffered from this CTE. Um, Dr. Willie Stewart, who was the one that did that, has been part of a team that revealed that former professional football players are five times more likely to have this disease than non-professional football players and three and a half to oh. times more likely to die from it than the general public. But that what they didn't wow. know is does heading or headering the ball have a direct correlation with this or, and they were trying to sort of discuss, should it be banned in children? Oh, banned in children, not yeah, in not in professional in children's games because between the <clears> ages of fourteen to twenty three, I think it is, your brain is still developing. Yeah. Um, huh. and yeah, I mean, this study was crazy. They they studied over seven thousand players, um, and twenty three thousand controls from the general population, um, and saw that the numbers were pretty pretty much, yeah, confirmed that it was three times more likely. But they said after just one session of headering the ball, they can see changes in the brain happening and slower communications. Huh. What? I know. It's like a it's like a long term impact or like temporary. Just a temp I think a temporary, but then because you know how like in like if you're training and you're doing like header sessions or whatever, you go doom doom yeah. doom doom doom. Even that <laughs> is having an impact. So then if you continue to do that week in, week out. What was the sound again? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's like a, it's like a club. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like any activity where something hits your head in general is probably not best for you. Mm, yes. Yeah. I we used to play a game when we, were, when we were younger where I would be like eight, nine years old and then some... 13 year old would kick a ball up in the air as high as he could and when you're that age it, it seems like it like disappears in the cloud <laughs> and then you try and header it back <gasps> like up uh, where it came from I, I used to play a game similar I used to play those arcade machines and then when I lose I used to punch the person behind me 
What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Again, how is that similar to the game that Maxi played? <laughs> <laughs> the poor person behind me has some damage to his brain. Oh, he has the damage. <laughs> it's already, this is already banned in the US, you know. The uh, If you're under 10 what? years old in the US, headings banned in soccer. Soccer. Really? Soccer? They banned it? Yeah. So the FA are considering to do it for under 12 year olds in the United Kingdom. I don't know if any other countries around the world have these rules or so what? I I mean I only read I only read the um the first line like I usually do the right. Title. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. I read the heading and then I decided to read proceed to read the rest of the article which is oh, yeah. the first <laughs> the first couple of lines and it said ban heading from the football game, right? And I said, "Oh, this is a mad article. Imagine they just stop that like the game would change dramatically if you could yeah. not kick the ball like you can kick the ball high, but you won't be using the head, and it's more predictable. Then, like you gotta go, you gotta bring it down. Yeah. How yeah. are you gonna bring it down? With your chest. Okay, so it's someone's I mean, chest, not that high. It's the head. But that's what I'm saying. It'll change the game. That was my whole point. Do you know what you find? People getting kicked in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're gonna get uh, brain. So yeah. I'm not a football connoisseur by any stretch of the imagination. Um. So I really couldn't care less if they took headers out of the game. But <laughs> when you think about... When you Fuck think you, about Alex. Football, <laughs> big deal. It is a big deal. When you think about football, though, like of all the sport, of all like the mainstream sports, I'm just trying to it, think of other ones. It is the best Where sport, you can use right. that many body parts. <laughs> Handball. Oh. Wait. What? You can't. What? But you... I mean, it can legally touch parts of your body in handball but you don't use your head in handball or your legs like i'm talking oh, about with the contact sorry when there's a ball or something with contact with the ball like basketball yeah, you hands. can't really Rugby, like use your hands you can kick it you don't use your knee yeah. like your legs and your chest and all like you can use any part of your body in rugby but you don't right rugby. Yeah, yeah you're true that's what i mean you're like, true you're right football you use a lot of body parts yeah, um, like, I feel I like they wouldn't trump that. It wouldn't be swimming. too bad if they got rid of one. <laughs> so everyone, imagine everyone starts jumping in the air and then using their shoulders to <laughs> like no, get it the, away. Then, then they'll find that people's shoulders are getting put out of place by the ball, <laughs> and, it's and they'll ban it, it. And it's causing well, that's major shoulder serious. damage. It's, that's that's cool. I so mean, you're, like... you're dead against this, CJ. You're like, CJ was a, a master so of generations. Can't a, can't uh, head is a ball. skill. Heading is a skill. The heading. Yeah, so, if, if they learn up correctly, they'll be fine. It, so it, shooting somebody you, in the head from long distance. You can tell me anything oh. a skill. <laughs> Sniper. <laughs> but heading, if you head correctly, I don't think it stops you getting brain the brain damage. I what think actually that? when you head correctly, that's probably the most likely <laughs> chance you get brain damage because that's when you head it perfectly on your skull. Like when your you head it badly, it just skims off your face and it hurts your skin, but it's probably going to take less of an impact, impact. inside. Excuse me, the, the flashing lights in my eyes just keep coming up. <laughs> but I just found that it was crazy that after just 20 times of headering the ball, that they could see detectable changes already. I don't... Makes sense. Think I, I don't like... And stuff. I, I wasn't a big fan of heading the ball, right? I feel like it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. So the, every time the ball come in, I'd pretend like to miss it because I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> This no. is coming too fast. No. So you would jump well, up we and then pretend you're trying to, to head it every time. <laughs> oh, is that Maxi? You, so you would jump I as jump. if you're trying Just to jump. hit the ball. Yeah. I he try. He every time jump and Did it ever the same accidentally time? hit you? You're like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> if the ball dipped accidentally and it hit me, I'd be like, damn it. Damn it. What the hell? No, I wasn't a fan of hitting the ball. That, that, that wasn't like, if anything, I would like try to bring it down because it hurts. Even just coming in. At like a lob, even a lob coming in, and I'm like, Nah, do you know what it hurts? I mean, when you block a shot with your face. Oh, yeah, but that's not I mean, heading. That's coming. You're not hitting it. The ball's hitting your face. That's like totally different. <laughs> like you're not, you're not trying to put your face in front of the ball. It just comes and you hit and you go, ah, oh. <laughs> and you just fall to the ground. That's what about totally different. Back in the day when they had the leather balls. Oh, that would hurt. In wet weather, header Ooh. in those. Makes like a, a rock. Yeah. Goodness There's nothing gracious. worse than on a cold day of football. Like in oh. really cold way, like your your fingers are hurting because they're so cold and you can't feel your toes, and then you get slapped on like the side of your face or something, with oh. a, like with a powerful shot, and an imprint on oh, your man. thigh or something, 
like the because what happens then like you just have like your energy levels just drop you're like oh like why am i doing this and you look around and you're cold and you've got mud all over your body yeah you're like and then am I you doing might you're probably fun? losing the game at this point and you're like what is life like, like why do i do this football match, so. <laughs> not in Wait those a conditions second. i have a question so out of all the sports that you know we've you played or whatnot what's the worst like most painful annoying thing like for example jarring your finger in basketball um, Get, twisting your ankle or whatever. Getting tackled groin first Painful. in the rugby league. Like, well, yeah, just the inevitable things that happen from playing a sport. I think... Like, I, for it, in, it's inevitable that in basketball you're going to jar your finger, right? I think what TJ said, like when the ball, when someone kicks the ball as hard as they can and it just hits your face. Like, One especially if the ball... Like if oh, someone, if you're yeah. trying to go for a tackle and the guy hits it and he hits your nose. The nose. Just, the nose. eyes just water and you're like... He didn't even mean it. I'm angry oh. at him, but he didn't mean it. When he didn't mean water, it, yeah. I just want to punch him in the face, but he didn't mean it. Yeah, the <laughs> nose. That can happen to in basketball. Miss the ball or something, it goes in your face. Uh. That happened to a kid tonight. <laughs> what, he was trying to catch it? I don't know. I didn't see. I just saw the after effect and he was like in tears, poor thing. Yeah, it, that hurts. So. But, um, but, but excluding like serious in yeah, injury. Yeah, excluding like, the, the serious, serious ones. ones. The one which is most annoying after the sport is when in football you slide like slide tackle you in goal and you slide on the floor and then you lose like skin. about oh. <laughs> 20 centimeters squared of skin on yeah. the side of your bum <laughs> yeah like astro and then, astro then, then yeah, every single day <laughs> it just sticks like your, your clothing sticks to it yeah. and every day you have to pull it off a little bit and it's just <laughs> oh, like sticky no. and pussy <laughs> Yeah, when you and shower, then you try you and put, put a plaster on it, and like, then the plaster just ow. peels off it again, and it's just like a never-ending. <laughs> yes, like yes. it's not enough to say go home from school because it's not really an injury. It's just like a, a bit of skin on the side of your leg, but it's so painful oh, and it never goes yes. away. God, <laughs> that is annoying. Imagine getting in the shower with that would sting oh, so much. So you know what? You know what you sucks. It's like friction burns in on the court as well, so I think. But you know what sucks? I, I love that you're trying to make basketball as bad, Emma. I love it. <laughs> 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 you're trying so hard. I'm not. Yeah, every time you said you I, I, and I basketball does this as well, you know. I, I got tackled Gwen first. The guys grabbed, went to grab me and grabbed my... <laughs> <laughs> Ghoulies. <laughs> my meat and veg. <laughs> And, and yeah, and that, he pull. Oh yeah, he pulled. <laughs> <laughs> now that hurt. That hurt. Mm. Oh man. So, but reading this article, as someone that's done a lot of football and headed the ball a lot and boxed, I'm starting to think maybe I should try and get all my loaf goals done before I'm, before, before I'm about fifty years old. <laughs> Were you a big header of the ball, Maxi? Did uh. Not until I had a growth spurt, and then I was then I became a big. But I was never like fearless of. I've never feared heading the ball. Yeah. Like it was, but it was just I wasn't very tall when I was younger. So. Yeah, no. that's that's one. That's the reason why I didn't hit the ball. I wasn't tall enough. Dude, you used to jump and duck at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. Claw, clawing back that dignity. They, they. <laughs> hey, Maxie. Look like you're doing tuck jumps. <laughs> With boxing, like you jump up and you hit a going. <laughs> <laughs> With boxing, how many, how like on average, how many times would you get hit in the head? Fifty. Oh, so quick! I never got hit. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I want to know. I'm gonna take it. Didn't even answer. You just yeah. Went he just said, "I'm so quick." Like he's flayed my. I took it at head. face value. <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> I want to know. Does it actually hurt in the moment, or just the adrenaline's pumping? You don't feel anything. Not at all. Like, boxing's the least painful sport for me when I'm in the moment. <laughs> Apart from, oh, actually, what hurts in, in boxing is uh, if you take a body shot and it takes the wind out of you, that's, like, that's oh. a fe that's that's unbelievable. Like, your whole body just wants to collapse, and it's yep. painful, and you can't breathe. But if you get punched in the head, like, it hurts until... It doesn't hurt. It's just, like, uh, when you get hit and it's a big one, you feel like, oh, that was a big point by then. Now I have to get them back. Oh, the same, like, okay. When you get hit in the head, is it better to, like go with the hit or to like try and resist it don't oh. try to resist it definitely don't don't you try don't to resist it that's not if a, you try, to, if you try to resist it you be going down with the hit <laughs> but like do you do you like brace your head so like your neck is strong and just like ah or do you no. just like, train no, your no. neck to be strong you, you go the you same way the hit's coming strong <laughs> Because you want you want uh, much around your neck to absorb the punch, and not just like you don't want your head just to flick. When your head just flicks completely loose, then it's, it's bad because your it's it's not necessarily the head hit that knocks you out. It's your whole 
like, like all of your muscles and everything in your neck just spinning your body's like see ya like i've had enough of this so you want to <laughs> have like a big cushion but when you see a punch coming you you turn your head the opposite direction like you roll with it yeah oh, Simple like those, you remember those like fake slaps when you were a kid <laughs> oh yeah do it the wrong way <laughs> I used to practice those. So, oh. so wait, wait, wait. Can we just end this article? Are we for kids wait. not hitting the ball? Yeah, I'm for it. Get rid of them. Our it's, adults not gonna, too. it's not going to change just their change game it. much. For, for I'm for it. Uh, uh, yeah, up to a certain age for sure. So Change like, the game completely. Get rid let, of those. Let's say... Uh, yeah, okay. No kicking. So Stop tw- your toes. So 12, <laughs> if you ban heading from 12, when do you learn how to head the ball anyway? Usually at that time. So after that, like at when you're five years old, they don't teach you how to. No, nah, because you basically, no. at five, you've seen five-year-olds play. They've got the ball and you got all the kids chasing the ball at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's a five. So like at 11, 12, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's really the time you learn. I anyway. also think it's actually, if, you, if you're if you taught not to head the board, it means you have to be better with it, like on, on the floor and controlling it out of the air. So I think it's good for, okay. like he's watching for in Spain, like they tend to not even play on a full-size pitch until they're like 12. Yeah. And they don't, they rarely ever head the ball. Okay, if anyone feels like an extra chicken nugget in their McDonald's nugget meals, then head on over to Canada 10 years ago. (laughs) (laughs) So I have to to go back in time (laughs) to get myself an extra nugget. Yep, because... Well, you guys in Australia, right? You're ahead in time. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not 10 years ahead. (laughs) I was going to say, this is sounding good. (laughs) I like nuggets. But then Canada... (laughs) It's way too expensive to get an extra nugget. <laughs> and then 10 years ago, like, not happened. Cody Bondachuk, UK. Oh, no, Bondachuk. <laughs> <laughs> he tweeted. Cody Bundas, UK. <laughs> he tweeted, and he's now being called the Robin Hood of McNuggets. He said, I worked at McDonald's for two and a half years, and I put 11 nuggets in almost every 10-piece I made. And he's been hailed as, yeah, the Robin Hood of McNuggets. Although some people said he was stealing, which is ridiculous. No, no, he, he's not really stealing because he's not taking them himself. Exactly. And then this guy was like, the he nuggets you just can't count. stole $1,600 worth, which is what they estimate it would have cost. Says the lasting positive impression of McDonald's in a consumer's mind and likeliness, oh, like, yeah. l- likeliness of them returning is priceless. Yeah. Remember those adverts where it was like, Visa. This is ten dollars. This is twenty thousand dollars. This is priceless. You, <laughs> that's that horrible. Oh. Uh, visa, visa would go out of business. Visa, that. visa, visa. visa. That's how we're calling it now. In, in, in all honesty, I'm I hoping mean, that I watch this because we'll get sued. <laughs> and by the way, I saw this. Um, two one minute warning. <laughs> I saw this on Twitter. <laughs> Everyone hear me? Um, because like last time I said it, no yeah. one said nothing. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> I, I love it when these are, when these ones come up in the news and I've actually seen them in real time. But I like the fact that there's two sides of the argument. You're either Robin Hood or stealing. Even though Robin Hood <laughs> was a thief. Oh yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> wasn't that in his name? Robin, what? Prince of Thieves. Oh wasn't that, yeah. Wasn't that in his name? And it's like Aladdin, <laughs> poor thing. He's like got to eat, got to steal to eat, got to eat to steal. No, what does it say? What's that know. line? It's your story. <laughs> it's in his song. <laughs> <laughs> So my question is, when have you been a Robin Hood in your life? Oh, what? In McDonald's. <laughs> was it was it in McDonald's, Maxie? They are giving out extra nuggets in McDonald's. Aww. Ah. Thanks. Did you work at McDonald's? Thanks for your... Yeah. Maxie's little John. He did. That's how he became like, his... Uh, that's how he got his career now, isn't it, Maxie? That's what we just determined. Yeah. No one got that? Maxie's well, little my John. My rule was you? always, if in doubt, add two more. If in doubt, add two more. So, because so, you're counting, right? And then the orders are on the screen and you're like, you, so you're 20 nugget box and you're like 18, 19. You're like, wait a minute. 20, 21, 22. Oh. Just... <laughs> I like that. I don't think I've ever been given extra. I never extra. count. Wait, I do eat. you count? That's no. what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm so, I, f- I feel like just if I was working there, I wouldn't count when I'm putting them in. Why? To be honest, do you, there's lots of dumb tricks you learn, like when you're at McDonald's, for example. 
I know when I put my tongs in a certain way. When I pick it up, I know if there's four on there without really looking. Oh, that's a skill. Oh. That's a skill. Because I mean, you just do it so often, you're like, oh, yeah, that's four. And then if you don't, you can feel that one's missing. You're like, oh, that's probably... And you check it's three. So you don't, you're like... If you get 20, you just go one, two, three, four, five with fours and you get to 20. That's a special skill. Okay, so this reminds me of, right? Hamish, uh, Hamish, Hamish, Hamish and, Andy. and Andy, right? They get these people that think they have special skills. Wait, they're comedians in Australia. They're comedians in Australia. All right, I'll give the whole backstory. <laughs> they used to be on radio. Yeah. Where are they born? Now, um, in Melbourne. Um, now they're about... Okay, they're nice. Nice. Um, so they have this segment <laughs> where they have special... These people ring up and say they have special skills. Like a mm-hmm. like similar to Maxi, this waiter looks at a table and sees there's sixteen people. She's able to grab, right? Just grab um spoons and know that there's sixteen in her hand. What? <laughs> what? No way! Right? And she would grab like she'd grab whatever in spoons, and then she'd go in for the forks and grab, right? And then she'd go to the table knowing she's got enough, right? Not feeling for it, she just go into the spoon thing, and grab it. So they they um they made they tested her and they've gone to the table they go and we'll give you a leeway minus one minus and plus one right just to just yeah. to give anyway so she they start she starts laying them out right yeah and she's getting closer closer and she's like oh it's gonna get close has she got <laughs> enough bang on bang on what? sixteen <laughs> she, it was unreal it's just like sixteen Maxine. as well not like eight yeah. Yeah. like men's done eight is she that single is, she could help you set up a table in seconds <laughs> is she single I, I, I got eight single? I got eight guests coming babe we need eight knives eight forks <laughs> and she's going bam bam here bam bam here <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Deb, you're making me laugh already. It's time for our What's On Your Mind segment. Na, na, na. Oh, oh, nice music. <laughs> um, what's on your mind? Now, I was thinking about the strange, my strange addiction series. Um, and we, we watched one today where this girl Give a, was, give a rundown of the what is... Well, what? my strange addiction, as the title says, it just follows people that have strange addictions such as eating rocks rocks drinking gasoline drinking your own urine washing yourself with bleach addicted to leeches washing in and bathing in bleach uh being married to cj's got his hand up this is eating mattresses this is open forum you can you can talk whenever you want okay the guy that eats rocks (laughs) how many toilets has he broken of his poop the girl, <laughs> yeah, the girl. Hmm, not she's sure. had some problems in her stomach. Really? Yeah, like a clink, 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 clink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the one that drinks gasoline. Are they still alive? She is, but she has stopped. The other one drinks all, nearly all of her urine. Okay. Doesn't drink any other my, drinks my, other than her own. My, my, my next question. And does, how did it start? And like bathes. My next like, question is: there any guys that do this? No, they're all women. Wait. <laughs> or, or, or some crazy no, the guy, ass there women. was one guy who was in love with his car. Like okay, literally in that's love. That's all guys. With his car. Every guy's in love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's all of us. I've heard of that. No, one. but this was literally. Was like he having he sex with his, car? To his yes. car? Okay, that's a little bit too far. To the exhaust pipe. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's Before too we judge, what was the car? <laughs> a red sporty type. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before we judge, Ooh, what was the thickness type. of the exhaust pipe? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Um, but actually, that you make a good point. What the thickness of the exhaust pipe? No, I think it was all. I've watched nearly five seasons, and majority are women. Did, that is really. Do you know what? Then? You, know, you know what I just realized? I would, We're making the women crazy. I would wonder. <laughs> I would wonder more if something like that is down to the production team and who's creating the show than if it's just women have these weird things. Oh, you yeah, reckon he's why? got a vendetta? What, against women? women? Not necessarily a vendetta, but it's just like, um, obviously, like, the production team on shows and, and cast and directors and all these types of things, like, it matters who they are as to who they then put on shows. Uh, oh, I guess there's so. There's always biases. Yeah. Casting director has like a that. certain type. Yeah. Crazy yeah, but they're woman. all they, different. Maybe they're just really good at talking to approaching ladies oh, and asking them to be on a show, but men are less... Less like, likely. 
They like to keep. Oh, there was dirty one. Secrets. No, no, no. There was this guy who's addicted to inflatable toys, like pool toys. <laughs> I was going to say. Let, had, let's be. Wait, let's be. Let's mean? be honest. What is it? It's not the pool's that toys that he's infla- inflating. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about like? In the same way the guy was addicted to his car. No. Or just, just liked them. He just really likes them, but he does like kiss them, but he just likes them. And like they're massive ones, so like all a big the, all dinosaur. The men's ones or are like. like... <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. Sexual. Yes. Yeah. Does, he, does he have a fake woman? <laughs> no. <laughs> then he pumps up with his bike pump. <laughs> That's the only other man one I can think of. Yeah, bruv, what are you doing today? Other oh, than... not much. Shh, shh. Uh, other than the plastic surgery me, guy, a who wants to look like <laughs> Superman. All right, Emma, ask your question. Oh, there's this one lady, and she loves being stung by bees. Like, stings herself up to fifteen times what, a day. What's your question? So my question <laughs> is, what is your total turn off from a partner? So, like, what is the one thing that you wouldn't be able to stand? And I was leading to that by this this woman was addicted to her pillow, carries it with her everywhere because she's had it since she was young, and her fiance, like they were engaged and they had to call it off because the fiance just couldn't like take her pillow addiction. And she was like, well, if you love me, you'll take the pillow too because me and the pillow come together. Um, Do they? <laughs> so, uh, is your question about normal things or like these types of no, things? Yours, no, yours, 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 your own thing. Like, your is there off. something that is like, is a, if like, a woman does it, like you're like, nah. Nah, that's it. Done. No, but this, th- what I'm saying is, I never would have thought of one of those, (laughs) but all of those would apply. Yeah. (laughs) If she shuts on the carpet, I'll be like, no, that turned me off. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what? Does that count? Is that an answer? No, is that like, is that like if you saw shit on the carpet, but you didn't know it was her, or you have to catch her in the. That's like Kevin Hart with a baby. (laughs) 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 No, but okay, let's change this question what's your pet hate that a woman does that is just like a turn off and like no nah, i can't be with you anymore sorry didn't know you did that but you do now yeah and like shitting on the carpet i think everyone would leave maxi i'm talking about like i think emma's talking about something that is quirky to that person Emma's talking about like smoking cigarettes this is like oh this is yeah smoking actually that's a point i i wouldn't ever want to be with a smoker yeah i've i've come to that's one of the things that like i i didn't like and it was always a turn off but as i've gotten older i've just learned that i need to like loosen my reins because <laughs> getting older <laughs> you're getting less you fussy now options. the rain just to get wider <laughs> no the Maybe age range can get thought. wider but like everything else I'm, I'm, older. The, the older i get the more crazy i'm willing to put you gotta, up you gotta think about it like the, the options are getting thinner and thinner <laughs> aren't they like, now, the older you get, the women get thicker and thicker as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, Maxi, with your one. So if you were in a club and there was like a really pretty girl before Melody, because she's beautiful and lovely. Um, <laughs> oh! <but laughs> what, she just took a dump in the middle of the dance? No! Floor? But you <laughs> saw her smoking with her friends. Would you like already be like, nah, I'm not going to approach her? Or would you get with her but want her to stop type thing? I mean, I've like kissed a girl after they've had a cigarette and it's really not nice for me anyway. I like I really don't like mm, that's the yeah. smell of it, the taste of it. So I could talk to someone who's smoking because I know some people only smoke when they're out with an open mind. Yeah. But if they're like addicted to smoking, it is either smoking like either stick to smoking or or me, if you know what I mean. Like if yeah. it's gonna be that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, like Ooh. I couldn't be with a smoker. Damn. So I his wanna is... be uh, stronger than the addiction. So uh, his is smoking. Man. Mine was the same. Hmm. I was gonna say a lot of girls. What's yours, by Alexander? The, wayside of the cigarettes. <laughs> Do you know what my <laughs> this is gonna be bad. I I classify myself as a bit of a sapiosexual, so a what? what is that? Just and do I want to know? Are you having sex with your car? No, <laughs> intelligence. Yeah, attracted to sapiens. intelligence. Oh, attracted to intelligence. I've never heard so of like, that. So, if so you're not attracted to any of us right now. What? just like, I think... <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Oh, I've completely lost you. No, you haven't. We're here. No, you, you lost me like 15 minutes ago when you said that word. <laughs> 
Because because that opened up some like, other uh, questions. I don't know about this. I don't the, the, know. The, the, uh, the, I'm not sure about like um. So is it tech, attracted to intelligence? So not even a gender. No, oh, no, wait, no, 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 wait, no, no, no. We haven't yeah. got that far. Oh, I don't about, know about that. No, it's a gender. He's he's attracted to a certain gender. No, but he said he's attracted to intelligence. Well, we'll Correct. find out. We'll he find out. He didn't say out. attractive let, let, women. Well, he's right here. Let him answer the question. No, 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 no. I'm actually for him. <laughs> he's attracted to... <laughs> Politics that is fine. <laughs> What's up? So you're attracted so to you're intelligence. Attracted to? Correct? Yeah. So then what... So how do you spin that around? What's the answer to the question? What turns you off? Is it a dumb girl? Oh. Just idiocy. Wait. Yeah, like... Ignorancy. No, not ignorance, because ignorance isn't, to me, ignorance and intelligence aren't on the same scale. Like, you can be intelligent and ignorant, but, like, yeah, just, like, pure, like, you're talking to me, like, what, like, they could have dropped out of school in, like, year eight or something. Like, <sighs> so do you, in like, you could to... be the most beautiful person ever, mm. but if... Yeah, that, that, that would turn me off more than like smoking and, or having a kid or anything like that. What does turn off even mean? Is this sexually turn off or is this... No, not like just a, in a relationship. Like in a relationship. In a relationship. Okay, we're talking about a relationship, not turn off. Oh, well... Because that's another big scale difference. Relationship. Yeah. Women that talk like dudes. <laughs> Yeah, don't call, me, you? don't call me you bro, know what don't I mean. call me dude, you, don't call me... Wait, are you talking about, you talking about the swearing? pitch of their voice or, how, that, or the words they use? I'm not, I'm not sure if I can... Like, you know, in our area, yeah. we have some women who talk like yeah, yeah, some yeah, of the guys yeah, in our yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that huge turn off for me. Dev? What? What's yours? Um, I don't think I have a turn off. It's just if um if we vibe or not. So like, and that that goes for guys as well. That's a dumb answer. So if <laughs> that's a shitty answer. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm turned off if I'm not turned on. <laughs> like, I don't really got like, I'm like, You've whatever. You've got to play the game, Dev. Well, like, <laughs> but I thought, what about like the swearers or something? No, you don't mind. What do you mean, like full on like f bombs and that? Yeah, I'm more shocked than like turned <laughs> off. I'm like, if she's dropping what about like a, a a goth. Or oh. no, I don't know. but see that's what I mean. It doesn't matter what like what genre they pick to be. Like it's um it's if we're vibing, and I don't vibe with goths. Like they don't vibe with me. I I give a scent that they don't like. <laughs> that's a bit gothist. <laughs> <Good> scent, <laughs> you say? Like we're like if we but, go. So past what together, you're saying then? Yeah. is you stink. <laughs> you would still give them a chance. Hey, like you would still give it a chance. Yeah, like if we if vibe. they were going to give you a chance. Mm, yeah, I guess so. What? So, so there is no, there is no, there's nothing that you wouldn't give a chance. Uh, like we have to vibe both ways, Alexander. It can't just be like, I have to, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's what saying, I mean. Like, but there's yeah, nothing but what's your that thing? you would just but stuff like, this is happening oh, so you if can't. If they wear too much, you know. Or makeup. Yeah. I'm not a big makeup fan either, to be honest with you. So a girl, maybe a girl that has like big massive injection in the lips, but you vibe really well. Like, would you care that she has big massive injected lips? Like, I would. Something like that. Is there something on the side of vibing? So you're vibing really good. Yeah. What is that physical or maybe mental thing they do, which you're like, oh, but because of that reason, I guess it's a no -go. It's a slow burn for me. So like, if I'm talking, we're talking, we'll go out for a date. We might even go for a date, and then we'll get to the point where you go, oh, we're gonna kiss, and it's like, oh, nah, we're not vibing at this level. We might be vibing. Like casually talking, but Dev, no, that's that's a, answer Max's not question. Our question, Dev. <laughs> yeah, Dev, why are you being so politically? I don't, like... I'm not being political because I'm being like I don't. Is is Emma got one of these things? <laughs> no, I feel like uh, okay. You just go for anyone. Uh, I'm just uh, anyone. Uh, I don't go for anyone. Okay, if the girl has got lips that are inflatable, like I, if a ship a ship our ship sinks and she can float <laughs> by using <laughs> her lips, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> or her boobs. <laughs> Even if oh, you're so you don't like fake boobs. No, I'm not into fake stuff. B I like butt natural. implants. Hey? Like you, you, you butt, imp butt implants, boob implants, no. lip injections. Oh, like I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. No, I'm not like. That's not what I. I don't know. I don't know. He no, know. no, then no. Tattoo, tattooed face. Oh, tattoos, no. tattoos. Tattoos on their body, it's fine. Not, fine not on the face. I'm fine with that as well. Also on the so if it's on the face, even if you're vibing, then it's a no go. 
Yeah. Like, don't what's your no go? go? That was the whole question. I don't have a no go. That's my problem. We got one. We got monobrows. We got monobrows. Like mono it's okay. <laughs> I really don't like if you. Uh, see, no tattoos I'm on the face for Dev. I'm not like I don't I don't know. <gasps> vegans? Just, do you hate vegans? No. <laughs> <laughs> if she's vegan. I'm also. What not if they had no teeth? No teeth. If they had no teeth, yeah. That was that was like that was 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 This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> Why am I just a weird sound guy? <laughs> In this experience. CJ, we missed you the last two weeks with your Max Facts. I know. Give us some Max Facts. Max like, Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dev and I tried to make up for it we last week, but we it just do wasn't it. the same. It wasn't the same. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's my thing. Okay, this week on Max Facts, how much, you might know this, how much of the fresh water in the world is held in the Antarctica ice? 80%. How much as no a percentage way. of the water of the world, fresh water of the world, is held in the Antarctic ice sheets? 80. 71. 60. No, 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 no. 30%. 89. <laughs> They were, they were so confident. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Guys, 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 let me let me answer this one. You know that like when there's a group and you go, guys, 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 I got this, I got this. 30%. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we've got what did Alex is 71? I'm sixty. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 73. I'm just bumping up a little bit. 73. 89. David 30. Emma's 69. CJ 60. The answer is 90%. Ah. Oh Ooh, my Emma. goodness! Very you close. were so close, Aaron! All right, guys, 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 guys. I got it wrong. All right, guys, guys. <laughs> Times three and you had it. 89, my <laughs> lucky number. The reason I thought Emma's you knew this, guys, was because we've done again. an article on yeah. taking big chunks of the ice from Antarctic and using it in Africa. What? That's Stop. right. Remember, Remember that guy? The made... iceberg pirate. Yeah. Did he succeed? <laughs> <laughs> the iceberg pirate? Yeah, that's what he's been dubbed, you know. He had a power on his shoulder. I'm going to give me some ice. Yeah, he was towing that? it. Do you remember towing that the... article, Siege? You're the one that said it, um, <laughs> Bruce's millions? And he tried. Oh, yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> you came up. With I've been hitting the head a lot. I can't remember stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I used to head of the ball, not duck. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so. Remember how we spoke about Hungry Jacks, a.k.a. Burger King in other countries, um, bringing in their vegan burger, the vegan. Rebel Whopper? The vegan um, burger. I've had about, gosh, I've had about six of them. Yeah, I've probably had about ten. So yum. Um, but basically, there is a class action from the vegans. Uh, they aren't happy. Why Apparently, is that? Apparently, Hungry Jacks is cooking their vegan burgers on the normal grill as the meat burgers, as the meat patties. Oh, that is who's doing not this? acceptable. Burger King. Burger King and That's Hungry why Jacks. they taste so good. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably all that oil, the That's meaty the secret. oil. <laughs> the secret sauce. The secret sauce is I've the meat. I solved it for all the vegans out there if you want a tasty burger, cook it with meat. <laughs> <laughs> meat oil. <laughs> they should. Um, I'm gonna have. I have a nap just rename them plant based interested. instead. They should what? What? Just rename them plant based they, instead of vegan. It is. They, it's yeah. called their plant based burger, plant based Whopper. So it's not called a vegan burger. No, plant based so they, Rebel Whopper. So they can cook it on what they want. If it's not, if it's like yeah. Based. No. Yeah. If it's if it's called a plant based burger, then yeah, but a hundred percent on it would say suitable for vegans. Yeah, yeah, I think like it does. Have a vegan it's menu. Like, yeah, it's gonna be like this simple. is what I mean. Like the they should just feet. avoid the vegan tag. Yeah, they should yeah, just avoid they it. They shouldn't because that means then vegans don't buy the burger. Oh, okay, and they want them to buy it. Uh, but but now vegans aren't gonna but, buy the burger anyway because they're cooking them beef. Fat. Yeah, well that was their fault. They should just go the extra mile and say, how do we make sure it's vegan and do it that way? That's like true. why? That's true. Yeah, but what I, what I mean is like, if you put plant based burger. You're going to, like, if you took the audience of people who eat plant-based slash vegan, mm. like, plant-based is going to cater for 95% of those people. Like, it's only going to be the very minute a group of people who are going to be pissed off. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's not that hard to go full vegan. Well, you'd have to have a separate grill. Like, that's, yeah, that's what I was thinking that they places do have a separate grill. These places are big. They have a lot of money, you know. Yeah, I thought Having that they would have had that gr- separate grill. Apparently not. Like most of no, the you're talking about grill. you're talking about like a, a complete uh, an unused grill, not just another grill. You'd have to have an unused grill. Uh, yeah, I think because this I is think, a new I think product. You just have to wash it. And nah, get all the fat out. but they like, like to have a new product. But hungry you jacks, new, you can't wash the old product. No, I'm saying <laughs> it is a new product, so you'd have to in the process they've already got. You've now yeah. got a new product. Yeah, you'd have to have another grill. But, uh, for I'm that telling product. you, as, when I worked at McDonald's, we always had to move around grills. Grills, it's not like that grill was always for one thing. You say, okay, this a uh, new product's come in. We've changed the setting on this grill. Now this grill is dedicated for all X burger because oh. e- each burger requires different cooking times. They're not all exactly the same. Oh. So it's very normal for a big fast food chain like McDonald's and KFC where I've worked to just change up the grills and say, okay, this one's now dedicated to veg only, or this one's now dedicated to oh. fish. Oh, this one's now dedicated to this size burger bun. Like, well, if they've already so done maybe, that, then where was this? Well, maybe like, it was like. <laughs> I thought the whole point was they don't do that. Well, maybe it is because you no. know how like the chains are run by like um, multi. Yeah. What do you call when you multinationals? No. No, no, no. When you <laughs> franchisees. Yeah, franchisees. <laughs> maybe it's just some oh, yeah. um lazy franchisees that are doing it. Doing it basically. Oh, they're not going by procedure, not yeah. following procedure. And other ones are doing it and some aren't. Cuz okay. I I just read this was a, a guy in Atlanta that saw his burger being cooked on the the normal one. So It could be yeah. a, it could be an employee as well just dumb. It could be. Oh, it could be, yeah. True. I And there's oh, also and like also, employees which are just like, PSA. Employees, which, psst, oh, go on. Sorry, PSA. What's PSA? PSA. Public service announcement. Okay. When the lady was like, hello, what, what's your order? I said, hi, can I have a Rebel Whopper, please? And she was like, yep, a Whopper meal coming right up. And I said, she thought I said regular Whopper or something. I said, Rebel Whopper. She's like, yeah. I went, just checking that's the plant-based one. She's like, oh. So. <laughs> if you want your plant based, make sure you clarify the plant based one or say like rebel. PSA. Uh, P- or rebel. <laughs> P- <laughs> PSA, I'm never going to have that bone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you haven't tried it yet. Hell no. But imagine oh, what, Siege, what if it's out. the other way around, Siege? What if you say I want a regular Whopper meal? And they and give like, you. Well, do you never say that? <laughs> do you always say large? Or do you always say small? I don't know. Let's be what honest. if you say I want a regular Whopper meal I, and then I they give you a rebel one without you knowing? With cheese. <laughs> and bacon so if they give me plant based after I've asked for bacon they're stupid <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I don't know maybe just like the taste of the plant based more it's actually more nice I dare you to try one I dare me not me? you can't back out of the <laughs> dare I had meat yesterday yes, I, can. I didn't Ooh, accept it was it. A good <laughs> me and Emma have been uh, for the last month have been going vegetarian two and a half weeks or oh, two and a half so. weeks Two and a half weeks, nearly a month. Oh, nearly three weeks. <laughs> yeah, Feels like three. a month. <laughs> Feels like we've been, and it's been, it's been pretty good. You sure? The way you sounded, I, I, I think you're undecided. <laughs> no, it's, it's been, I, like, I feel more energetic. We tried the Beyond Meat Burger finally yeah, from the, the, got it at the supermarket. It's mind it's you, it's bloody expensive. Twelve dollars oh, yeah, for two I, I patties. Saw that. Twelve dollars for two bloody. patties. That's pretty expensive. Bloody shit. Yeah. But um, it good? was actually nice. So far, so good. Because I, I tried another one, which was yuck. How did kids go? Beyond are, are they Meat still one meat was nice. Yeah, they're still eating meat. Okay. Now, have you gone keto? No. No. Keto is no carbs, what? isn't it? Well, I'm not sure what, what my cousin It's very hard to go keto yeah, and keto. Yeah, keto is really hard. Because i got one cousin who's going vegan, and i got one cousin who's going keto. Yeah. Keto If you do we're, both we're of those d- at the same time, then, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's you'll like... probably die. <laughs> well, we're doing the... Uh, Intermittent fasting, which is supposed to give you ketosis, basically bring your body into ketosis without having to do the keto diet itself. And my bloody keto cousin kept stealing my my miniature what? hamburger things. Just that, just yeah, the burger part, I even yeah. the bread. Just, I just, yeah, I just want to put a disclaimer out to anyone listening. There's a lot of just nonsense information about nutrition flying around right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, I, I won't disagree. What are you saying? We're nonsense. I reckon there's heaps. I won't disagree, Zans. But we're, we're doing it, aren't we? And I tell you what, old mate to the left here has lost a lot of weight. Has he? Mm-hmm. Where? <laughs> it's gone. I've lost seven kilos. More than that. 
Would you, would what? You? Oh, same not in two and a half weeks. In no, no, two no, and no. Half no, weeks. Um, in f- no, no, four, four and a half months. Hey, bro. Four months. Four and a half months. I oh, found it. <laughs> four and a half like months. I say, you need to eat more of those broccolis, my man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, it's been a slow burn. Like I didn't notice anything for a long, long time. I go, this is bullshit. This intermittent, fa- this is bull crap. Nothing's no, happening. The intermittent fasting is when it started. It didn't start, and then like probably a month and a half in, it started to. I saw it started to go. And then I'm uh, it's probably it, it's probably a it's too, diet uh, change as well. I was gonna say it's too late to do now, but I would have said track your caloric intake before and after to see if that's the reason why. Oh, it's definitely because I'm only eating two big meals instead of three. The calorie intake's definitely less. Oh, oh so when you're doing in, in, in a minute fasting, you're doing a portion of it during winter, and now you're doing it during summer. So you out, you work outside, don't you think maybe you're sweating more and losing weight that way? Ooh. Possibly. You're but most of it was during winter. Yes, but now you're starting to notice the weight loss during summer. <laughs> no, no. Losing, no, I didn't lose seven, ha- seven kilos in the last month. I was losing it during winter. Were you? Yeah. Don't lie to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Give me an update. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Dev's update. I lost no weight. I think you have. This um, 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 vegan... Uh, the Burger King. Mm. Do they have a right to be upset? Y- yes, yes, they are promoting it as vegan and they're cooking it with meat bats. Yeah, because there are some people that actually can't eat meat because they're allergic. So Allergic to meat? Yeah. So if they have it, it's dangerous for them. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of yeah. that one. <laughs> well, isn't, there, uh, isn't there like a certain thing they can be allergic to meat? Meat products? I don't know. I don't know. But they... Br- mm. They're allergic to maybe, the but you could be it. allergic to like maybe allergic to beef or in particular yeah. or yeah, something, okay. right? So like, imagine them having the meat and yeah. being sick, or they're not allowed to eat it for religious reasons or what, whatever. Hmm. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.